they were wrestling on the ground and, and one man was apparently being stabbed or punched in the side and he was screaming then and then one guy took off and I heard a gunshot. That shot struck Machalski. Minutes earlier, police say he had tried to hold up this gas station at 38th and Leavenworth. The cashier there said Machalski stuck a three-inch blade at his throat and demanded money. The cashier, 19-year-old Jim Siebler, pulled this billy club from behind the counter. Raised it like he was going to hit the suspect, and he fled the scene. He ran across east across the parking lot and then went south on uh, 37th Avenue. That's when he ran into Detective Gernant. Gurdan's condition has, was listed in serious, but it's now been upgraded to fair. He's reportedly scheduled to undergo surgery this afternoon to determine the extent of his injuries. Sarpy County officials say they want to find out if Bellevue police are responsible for injuring a man in their custody, so they plan to conduct an internal investigation. 31-year-old Mickey Hall was injured Saturday night at the Bellevue police station after he was arrested on suspicion of assault. Hall was later taken to Midlands Hospital where he was first listed in fair condition. He's now been upgraded to satisfactory. A Sarpy County official says his office plans to file four counts of felony assault against Hall today. An eight-month-long drug investigation investigation in Fremont and Page counties in Iowa has led to the arrest of four people. Those people are charged with selling cocaine, marijuana, and LSD. Many of the sales were allegedly made to minors. Justice officials in Israel this morning say they have enough proof to start legal action against Kurt Waldheim. This for his alleged involvement in Nazi war crimes. The former UN Secretary General is running for president in Austria, and he was, has repeatedly denied the charges. His spokesman says this latest move by Israel is just the start of a witch hunt. Israel's Justice Ministry studied documents from the United Nations, Greece and Yugoslavia and reached this interim conclusion. We know beyond any doubt that Valdheim was accessory to crimes and uh, we have some witnesses that he was involved directly and personally but this we still have to inquire about. Some of Israel's evidence as a German officer Kurt Waldheim signed documents that led to military operations against Yugoslav and Greek partisans that ended in many deaths. Several Israelis claim they saw Waldheim on duty in the Balkans. One who's been quoted widely in the press here is Moshe Miyuni. He claims that in Greece in 1944 he saw Waldheim beat his brother with a stick. Till the day I die I will not forget the picture of this tall, slim officer beating my brother almost to death. Miyuni says he didn't realize that officer was the former UN Secretary General until he saw press pictures recently of Waldheim in his wartime army uniform. The Israelis don't really expect to bring Waldheim to trial here, but they hope that if Austrians know Waldheim was a Nazi, they won't elect him president in June. Martin Fletcher, NBC News, Tel Aviv. In East Beirut this morning, a car packed with 200 pounds of TNT exploded during rush hour. Nine people were killed and 84 hurt. Witnesses say screams of women and children could be heard as rescuers carried victims from the rubble. The explosion collapsed two apartment buildings and sparked a number of fires. So far, no one's claimed responsibility. Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher of Britain made a new appeal this morning for a summit meeting between President Reagan and Soviet leader Gorbachev. Mrs. Thatcher says she thinks Gorbachev would agree to a summit that uh, he also is, is willing uh, and anxious to have one. But I think both he and President Reagan are also anxious to get the whole climate right and also anxious that next time there should be specific uh, things to report and specific advances in arms control agreements. What's your best guess, Prime Minister? Do you think there will be a summit this year? Uh, I hope there will, but I certainly think that there will be a second summit. It's in the interest of both countries. It's in the interest of both leaders. It's in the interest of all peoples. Americans are not traveling abroad this year. Most are taking a new look at this country. And 25 million will be traveling this week in the traditional start of vacation season. The great vacation exodus is underway, and it looks like a banner year to rediscover America. Fears of terrorism overseas are keeping American tourists home in droves. We canceled a trip to Europe uh, about three weeks ago. Nothing could go wrong in Disney World. <laughs> More than 100 million Americans, a travel record, are expected to take their vacations in the United States this summer, and most of them, 82%, will drive. The gasoline prices in this country have come down some 30, 35 cents in a period of five, five and a half months. That makes uh, domestic travel, auto travel, a very attractive option this year. 
Hitting the road to see the sights is especially good news for the folks who put travelers on wheels. It's been very busy. It's uh, People are coming in, looking at RVs, renting RVs, uh, uh, of course, purchasing RVs. Mm -hmm. National parks are bracing for a record number of campers and gawkers. But in a surprise U-turn in travel trends, the cities are expected to draw more visitors this summer than the perennial favorites, the beaches. From the Big Apple to the Grand Canyon to Yosemite in California, America has resumed its love affair with the open road. Cameron Swayze, NBC News. Tom is here to tell us if traveling will be pleasant in these parts this As weekend. of right now, Trina, looking real good. Tom will have more weather, and I'll have some more news when we get back. Have you ever dined and danced on a riverboat? Then welcome aboard the Belle of the Spirit. Cruise the peaceful Missouri River while you feast on this roast of round, five salads and more for $12.95. Imagine $12.95 and all you can eat. Cocktails, senior citizen discounts, afternoon cruises, and Sunday champagne brunches available. Charter one of these ships for your company picnic. Call 292-BOAT right now. Make reservations for an experience you'll always remember. Ship ahoy! Conservative Savings Bank has been serving the financial needs of people in Omaha since 1891. Conservative is insured by the FSLIC. Conservative is stable. We've been here for 95 years. Conservative is strong. Our reserves are more than double any other Omaha savings and loan. Insured, stable, strong. These three words describe Conservative Savings Bank. Conservative is more than our name. It's our philosophy. This place is jumping, Toyota's jumping, the best deals by far on every car, cause now the place is jumping. The place is jumping in your Toyota dealers. It's the biggest sales event in Toyota history. We're out to make incredible deals on a huge selection of Celicas, Tercels, Corollas, and Camrys. This place is jumping, Toyota's jumping, we've got the deals on your favorite wheels, cause now the place is jumping. got style at prices you'll love. Shop Goodwill Industries and outfit your entire family for just a fraction of the cost. Goodwill stores are located at 41st and Pacific, 84th two blocks south of Center, 108th and Maple, and 1601 Avenue D in Council Bluffs. Open seven days a week, 9 to 9 Monday through Friday, 8 to 7 Saturdays, and 1030 to 7 on Sunday. For quality, selection, and value, shop Goodwill Industry stores. Our business works so people can. He's kept me in suspense now. Will it rain on Memorial Day or will it stay dry? I think essentially for the entire Memorial Day weekend it will be dry. However, we could see a shower during the evening hours tonight and then maybe tomorrow morning, but other than that it's looking real good. By the way, I mentioned this last night and it may have created a little bit of confusion. Culturally, summer begins this weekend. Memorial Day is the summertime, okay? Okay. Meteorologically, Summer begins June 1st, July and August. There are three months of meteorological summer. Mm -hmm. And astronomically, that is with the calendar and with the sun's uh -huh. positions, uh, summer begins on June 21st. Why can't we settle on just one date? Fine, Memorial Day, how about <laughs> okay. that? Summer begins tonight at sundown, how about that? I like it. Okay, let's check radar right now. And if we look to the east of us, we can see some very light and scattered showers, and they are continuing to drift well to the east of us. However, we could see another shower or two later on in the afternoon. The record high for today is 93 degrees. The record low is 38. We will be right in the middle of those two figures, right on into and through this weekend. Here are the official numbers right now. 56 here, 58 in Lincoln, 88 percent humidity, a falling barometer, and the winds now are east at 7. They'll eventually become northerly at about 10 to 20. On our satellite photograph, check this out. We do see a bend in the cloud cover. That's an indication of of a frontal system. Notice ahead of the front, lots of clouds and some scattered showers too, but behind it, a general clearing trend, and that's what will be moving in here later tonight into tomorrow. We can see some showers, some pretty hefty showers and thunderstorms, I should say, over the Tennessee Valley, east-west rather, to northern Arkansas, and we have some more showers over portions of the Dakotas, as well as over central Iowa and southern Minnesota. And on our map for today, those map features do illustrate that frontal system just to the west of us. Unfortunately, not moving very rapidly to the east, but it will continue to struggle to move toward the east, and eventually this 
clearing trend will be settling in and the timing could be perfect. For tomorrow, we do see some scattered showers and some clouds around in the morning, but eventually with high pressure building to the west of us, we're going to gradually see this high begin to push these clouds to the east and right now it should set us up for a very nice Sunday. High pressure will be anchored over central Nebraska, the main clouds to the east of us as well as to the south. As of right now, if you're going to Kansas City, okay. Minneapolis, okay. And Denver, too, should be mainly dry right on into and through the weekend. Here's the forecast then, and please drive very carefully. Cloudy with bright spells this afternoon. There could be some sprinkles around. Highs will be 59 to 65, so it will be a cool afternoon on north winds, 10 to 20. For tonight, a shower is possible, then partly cloudy and cool. Lows will be 45 to 50 degrees, a cool night, too. And for tomorrow and Sunday, let's call it Monday, too, partly cloudy and pleasant. Highs should be 70 to 74 degrees for Saturday into Sunday. The chance of precipitation and it will be light, maybe 10 to 20 percent. So it's not going to rain. I think it looks like a very good weekend. Thanks a lot. You're Tom. welcome. Trina. The figures are fuzzy, but the pain is real. Hundreds of white collar workers are being laid off, transferred or forced to retire. News Center 3's John Teal shows us how the white collar blues is hurting everyone involved. Former Inner North manager Dick Moore had the time this morning to pick up his own mail. That's because he was surplus just a couple of months ago. Surplus is one of the latest words in the corporate vocabulary. It means your job has been eliminated. Corporations don't like to use the word layoff, but that's exactly what happened to Dick Moore. It was a surprise. I, you know, I think anybody that has done a good job for a company, uh, you don't expect to get severed. There's going to be changes, but you think that you still will be able to find a job there and uh, continue in your employment, especially after 21 years. Omaha's corporations either can't or won't say exactly how many people have been laid off, transferred, or forced to retire. But the number could easily be close to 2,000. Enron, formerly Inter North, is cutting its Omaha staff by more than 1,000. But the company claims it doesn't know how many are managers. Union Pacific also claims it doesn't know how many people it will surplus this year. But the company has offered all of its managers either early retirement or a severance bonus. The railroad hopes several hundred people will voluntarily accept the offer. But the company concedes it will simply drop the axe if not enough people do. And more than 200 managers throughout Nebraska have already left Northwestern Bell. The moves were voluntary, but the company doesn't know how many were from Omaha. Other corporations have also cut at least 100 managers in this city, and that figure could easily be as high as 200. Engineer Phil King is one of the faces behind the statistics. He lost his job at Enron five months ago after more than 20 years on the job. And he almost lost his horses, too. The white collar blues are new to Omaha, but it's a national trend that started a couple of years ago. Come on, Blackjack, you gotta keep up there. Corporations are cutting middle managers like Phil because of tough economic times, new competition, and of course, mergers. Phil admits he's still a little bitter about the way Ken Lay and other Houston natural gas executives were seemingly able to simply gobble up Inner North. The shark swallowed up the guppies and brought in his hatchet men and just started cleaning house. And the house is about cleaned out. Now we can sell it and move. 15% of my um, patient population are coming in with um, a lot of depression, a lot of uh, physical problems, high blood pressure. Psychologist Jack Stark says the impact is staggering. He told me some people are drinking too much and others are even considering suicide. I have companies calling me, their personnel office, saying, should we let this person go? We're very concerned about letting this person go because we know that they're going to have suicidal behaviors. Phil King doesn't. In fact, he's one of the lucky ones. He's found a new job and he and his wife Dee can still afford to ride their horses. But others may not be so lucky. The Omaha job market is extremely tight for high salary middle managers. A lot of good people will be forced to move. So really, all of us will suffer right along with the displaced white collar managers. John Teal, 
News Center 3, midday. Omaha markets. Corn 244 down one cent, beans 521 down one. Hogs 1550 cents to 75 cents higher, two to fours, 260 to 285 pounds, 4850 to 5050, or 50 that is. One to threes, 210 to 250 pounds, 50 cents, 50 to 5135. Steady, sow steady to 50 cents lower, 4150 to 46. Hi, I'm Jim Martindale, and I'd like to introduce you to the Garden Weasel. It's a revolutionary five-in-one tool that makes gardening fun and easy. The Garden Weasel's three rotary blades mesh with a scissor action to break up topsoil. They uproot young weeds before they get a start. That mixes the weeds and leaves into the soil, and that's a mulch, and that's beneficial to your garden. The Weasel cultivates to a uniform two-inch depth, protecting your plant's roots. Remove the center blade for cultivating around seedling rows and young bedding plants and vegetables. Use one blade for those hard to reach areas. Insert the short handle and the weasel is perfect for plant boxes and greenhouses. The garden weasel is made of a rust-free alloy that's virtually self-cleaning. Simply hose it off and allow it to dry. If you have a friend that's into gardening like I am, the garden weasel makes a perfect gift. Look for this display. The multi-purpose garden weasel at Walgreens, Osco, Keystone, and participating Ace, True Value, Sentry, and Coast to Coast Hardware. It's a perfect gift for any friend who gardens. Competing against those big guys for quality and the best grocery prices is no easy task. But at Bag and Save, we're winning. Maxwell House Coffee, regular grind, instant, or decaffeinated brim. There's no better way to start your Memorial Weekend mornings. And this week at Bag and Save, a two-pound can of Maxwell House regular grind is only $5.99. Bag and Save. We're winning the battle for quality and the lowest prices on brand-name groceries. West Dodge Electric announces a modern-day sale on a great American tradition, the world's finest ceiling fan by Casablanca. West Dodge's low prices on Casablanca are another tradition, and now you save 10% more than ever. This week only, on every Casablanca fan in stock, save an additional 10% off West Dodge's already low prices. 10% off prices already reduced as much as 30 to 40%. Casablanca quality as low as $159, but it's now through Saturday only at West Dodge Electric, 75th and Dodge. There are some great musicals being done right now in Omaha, and one of my favorite is called Millie and Tilly's Downtown Cafe, and it's being done at a cafe, a diner, in, uh, in the Benson area. It's called Joe and Judy's Diner. The two stars of Millie and Tilly's Downtown Cafe are here with me today. We have Millie and Tilly. Millie is right next to me. Tilly's over there. Hi, y'all. Hi. It's nice to be here. <laughs> are you excited? I'm really nervous. Yeah, we're real excited. <laughs> this is Michelle Phillips and Susan Baer Beck, two of my favorite actresses in the world, but today they're Millie and Tilly. Yeah. Yeah. And this takes place in uh, Gore, Oklahoma. Gore, Oklahoma, 1964. Oh, my. Listen to me. I'm talking with you. That was some time ago. And you're going to give a little song, a little demonstration with no accompaniment. What's, uh, what's, what's the story? Uh, this is a song our daddy used to sing when he'd get depressed about our mama, our mama running off. Ran off. Oh, we no. were soda pop salesmen. Yep. Oh, how tacky. It was. So when we get depressed, we like to sing it. Well, will you do it for us? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> drop of a hat. <laughs> <laughs> she ready? will. She will drop of a hat. Okay. She'll be coming round the mountain when she
She'll be driving six white horses when she comes. <laughs> She'll be driving six white horses when she comes. Oh, snap your fingers, Mike. <laughs> She'll be driving six white horses. She'll be driving six white horses. She'll be driving six white horses when she comes. When she comes. Oh, we'll all go out to meet her when she comes. Show off. I like it. Oh, we'll all she comes. Oh, we'll all go out to meet her. We will all go out to meet her. We will all go out to meet her when she comes. We will all go out to Oh, that is boy. fantastic. Oh, thank you. You're just cuter than a bug. Oh, what about me? <laughs> You're adorable. Oh, thank you. I should mention Michelle is just starting this role, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Uh, uh, Janet Flynn has been doing it, and you're just now going in. But let me tell them a little bit more, because we've got less than a minute left. This is done at 6064 Maple. It's in Benson, and it's the story of you two who run this cafe in Oklahoma, mm -hmm. and some of the characters who come in and visit you, yep. and you've got boyfriend types, and yeah. you've got uh, rogues, and you've got just characters, yep. wild characters, right. and there's a lot of singing. It's an original, how many songs do you think? There's about six or seven songs in the show. I'm still talking like you. <laughs> I know you are. You <laughs> I'm going to stop. It's contagious. It's just terrible. <laughs> anyway, it's a wonderful show. I enjoyed it a whole lot, and it's great of you I'll to come ahead. and do this on very little notice for Michelle. Thank you. Millie and Tilly's downtown cafe and we'll be right back after these messages <laughs> competing against those big guys for quality and the best grocery prices is no easy task but at bag and save we're winning maxwell house coffee regular grind instant or decaffeinated brim there's no better way to start your memorial weekend mornings and this week at bag and save a two pound can of maxwell house regular grind is only 5.99 bag and save. We're winning the battle for quality and the lowest prices on brand name groceries. We're grilling it, chilling it, there's so much to choose. What a meal and what a deal, it's all waiting for you. Discover Bonanza's steak and chicken Monterey dinner. Start with all you can eat from our fresh tastics food bar, your choice of potato, a juicy steak, and our charbroiled chicken Monterey. It's a mealtime bonanza. Discover the taste, discover the price, discover Bonanza. Dear Nanny, I had a lot of fun. I like your new home. I think it's real neat. Can I spend the night again if Mom says it's okay? I want to play games and ride in the van to the store with you. Remington Heights Retirement Center. It's everything you thought retire meant. Tell my new grandmas, I'll see them soon. Love, Dustin. What's this rye crisp? The body cracker, fiber rich rye crisp. The body cracker, fiber fit, taste crisp. 25 calorie rye crisp, rye crisp. The body cracker, healthy diet, healthy try it, rye crisp. The body cracker. It was a big win for a professional gambler in Las Vegas last night. He won the 17th World Series of Poker. The contenders, 141 poker players, big names and no names, formal types, informal types, just about every type. Once a year, they come to Las Vegas to the Horseshoe Casino, and once a year, they dream. They plunk down $10,000 apiece for a chance to rake in the top half a million dollar prize. The World Series of Poker. Forget skill, think luck. If poker 
crew were strictly skilled, we'd have three people coming back because everyone else would be broke. Three days later, the survivors, six men to start the day. A good hand for some, a lousy one for others. It's down to two. Three-time contender and pro Barry Johnston versus brash young kid Mike Harthcock. The crowd has its favorites. The hands are dealt, the stakes unbearably high. Johnston psychs out the kid. The heat is on. Johnson's wife cools down. Hearthcock looks edgy. Finally, fourth time around, a lucky charm. To the victor, $570,000. To the loser, two hundred and twenty-eight dollars Still, for Barry Johnston, winning is much sweeter. Charles Gomez, NBC News, Las Vegas. What a win. That's it for midday. Looking ahead now to New Center 3 at 5, Joe Jordan will follow up on the stabbing of a police officer. Chief uh, Wadman will talk about that during a news conference. Also, Lincoln Bureau Chief Ken Sherrod looks into how busy state parks are going to be this holiday weekend. We go to Tom Vivacqua, who has what he says is a very pleasant forecast for I the weekend. I think so. Perhaps some showers this afternoon. Very light, maybe into tonight too, possibly into tomorrow morning, but from tomorrow noon on, it looks mainly dry and temperatures in the 70s. So get the barbecue yeah. on. You bet. And have a nice holiday. <laughs> we'll see you again next week. Have a good weekend. Take care. Cookies, barbecue sauce, and medicine land. Here we jump with buzz our hand. The spice to mix. Enjoy the ease. Just grab new cookies and give it a squeeze. That's right. Now you can enjoy the ease of one quick squeeze from Cookies Barbecue Sauce. You know the quality and flavor that has everybody raving. Now, start enjoying the fun of Cookie's new squeeze bottle. Cookie's barbecue sauce is a barbecue sauce. America loves to me. Just grab our new bottle and give it a squeeze. Get savings of up to 40% every day on brand name fashions at Rothschild's Fine Clothing for Men. You get the best brand names like Oscar De La Renta, John White's Athletic Cuts, and Hardy Amy's. These are the finest designer fashions at low prices you can't find elsewhere. Suits as low as $149.90. Sport coats from $69.90. Fresh shirts starting at $11.90. With prices like these, there's no reason to shop at any department or chain store. Rothschild's Fine Quality at up to 40% savings. It is like having an uncle in the business. And faster yet in the microwave. In just 10 minutes, you've got it made. There's only one pie with this much real fruit and a crust this tender and flaky in its own microwave pan. Pie in minutes, Mrs. Smith's pie. In minutes, in just 10 minutes, you've got it made. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune, weekdays at 6. to work?